If you use Excel regularly, chances are that VLOOKUP is your go-to function 95% of the time. But there's one big problem with VLOOKUP. You can't look up to the left. It can also be time consuming and tedious counting the columns to get to the answer that you want. If you don't have access to Excel 365 and the excellent XLOOKUP, which I've got a video to just up on the top, then index match is probably your next best alternative. I'm gonna talk you through how it works and give you some simple to complex examples. Let's have a look. Okay, so firstly, we're just gonna go through how VLOOKUP works and its main limitation. So if I go up to the table up above here, what I want to do is I want to find the store number that relates to Hong Kong. So we can see that over here, our Hong Kong store is store number 266549. So if I equals VLOOKUP, hit my tab key. My first argument is my lookup value, which is gonna be my Hong Kong, comment, my table array, so I want to pull in my store name and my store number, and then my next argument, and this is where we start to come into problems, because effectively, usually you will only put in a positive number in here, so a one and so on, but actually the store name is looking to the left. So if it was to try and do minus one, comma, zero for an exact match, close my parentheses, and that's where I get an error message. So to overcome that problem, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two functions, the index function and the match function, and we're gonna blend them together to get a, a result that we need. So firstly, let's just talk through how the match function works, and then we'll talk through how the index function works, and then we'll put them both together. For match, I'm gonna type in match. The lookup value is gonna be Hong Kong, and I'm gonna be looking for that in the store name column. I'm going to hit my comma, a zero for an exact match, close my brackets and hit return. What this formula does is within the range that we specified, so between D5 and D10, it effectively says that it's the one, two, three, row down. So to go through the index function, we're going to go through a little bit more of a detailed example. The index formula can be a little bit tricky and some people find it quite daunting, but effectively it's only made up of three main arguments. One would be your array, which is the total number of cells you're looking at. And then the second and third is rows and columns. The easiest way to think about this is if you remember the old game battleships uh, where you used to have to sync your competitor's battleship. So let's have a look at it through that lens. So in effect, we have our enemy ship in the bottom right hand corner here and that's in cell C4 and you can see our ship up the right here off the grid. Our total array in the index formula is all of the cells contained within here so it's cells A1 to C4. If we want to get our enemy ship we have to move down rows and columns so effectively remember we're off the grid at the moment so we'll have to move down one, two, three, four rows so our first argument rows becomes four and then we need to move to the right along our columns so that becomes one two three and effectively then we destroy our enemy ship and that creates the index formula up above which is array a1 to c4 moving down four rows and across three rows to find whatever value was in c4 Okay, so now we've gone through the index function, let's put the two together um, in an index match uh, formula. So over again, what I want to do is I want to find the store name that relates to Hong Kong. So the first thing I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna start with my match formula and then I'm gonna build my index formula around it. So for match, I'm gonna select my Hong Kong store. I'm then going to select my range, which contains all of my store names, hit comma, in a zero, in a zero for exact match. Turn, so that gives me my four. I'm then gonna wrap my index formula around that. So index. Now, if you remember, firstly, we want our index array. And for this, uh, this scenario, we just want to find the store number. So I'm just gonna select that range there. Remember that it starts with row. So um, that's gonna select the fourth row down to give me my Hong Kong store number. 
and then for columns we're going to put that as zero because we don't want to move any columns and then we're going to close our index function and hit return and you can see that specifies the store number 266549 so that's given us the answer that we want okay so now we're going to look at a little bit more of a challenging scenario where effectively we're going to do a two-way lookup which is looking up the profit for the store Hong Kong. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this down into its component parts. Firstly, where we will match which row is Hong Kong in, which column is the profit in, and then we're gonna put those two together into an index to give us overall what our answer is. So firstly, uh, we've done it previously. So if I go equals match, we want Hong Kong, comma, and then we want that in the store name. I'm gonna bring in the title into that as well. And um, I'm gonna hit comma, and then we're gonna hit zero and close our parentheses. And we can see that's including the store name. That's one, two, three, four, five. Next, we're going to match along the columns and we're gonna find profit so if I hit my comma our lookup array is all of our headings on the top here I'm going to hit my comma again exact match and close my parentheses and you can see that's the fifth column along so that's one two three four five next what I'm going to do is I'm going to equals index down below hit tab firstly we want our array now for our array here I'm going to select our whole table because it's going to include all of our headers and all of our stores. I'm going to hit my comma to that. My row number is going to be up above here, five, comma then to get my column number. And then I'm going to close my parentheses and hit return. And you can see it returns the value of 87122, which is the profit within our Hong Kong store. Now, We've used kind of helper uh, cells along with this. So what we can do is we can remove those and just directly put in um, our match formula. So if I do match, hit tab, I'm matching Hong Kong into my store name here. I'm gonna close my comma in there. I'm gonna close that one. My next argument then instead of K8 is going to be match. Um, and I'm gonna be matching the profit comma along the top here comma hit my zero with my parentheses i need to add an extra one because i haven't closed the first one just hit yes and you can see then that gives me the value that i need so you can see that index match is not as intimidating as you thought it once was so hopefully you found that useful you can see that using index and match together is very useful and not very daunting at all if you like that video please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.